I got how the deck works now. Okay, so you didn't understand how the deck worked. Okay, Shmogi, now you giving us a hard time makes... Or you weren't giving me a hard time. You not understanding makes so much more sense now. Right. Lodestone, Bobble, Infinite Draw. Correct. Oh, you're perfectly forgiven, man. I'm just glad you're being honest you didn't understand. I'm sure there's still, like, three or four people in the stream who don't want to admit that they don't get the combo yet. It's okay, you know? Uh, but since it's up to four, we can say zero. So we're going to say zero... Um, oh, play points. We're going to say zero, and we're going to do it as many times at a scroll rack as fixing. At a one of scroll rack for fixing? Uh, what will we cut, though? I mean, I like scroll rack. You, you know I like scroll rack. Oh, with the fixing. You know I like scroll rack. But how do we fit it? How good is Transmute Artifact in this, really? Isn't it just an extension of the baubles? Or extension of the lion's eyes? I guess since it's both, it's worth it. I just got here so I wouldn't understand all. Okay, so Gamer God, what we're trying to do is we're trying to go infinite. So you take this piece, right? And you take this piece. And you take this piece. If you have these three pieces, um, in, well, these would need to be in your graveyard. This needs to be in play. Right, it's Bomberman that can also run Chalice of the Void, is the idea. So, um, what happens is you sacrifice Lion's Eye for triple white, and then the Salvager's ability says, Colorless White, return target artifact with converted mana cost one or less. Do we need four baubles? Yeah, Hipster, we want to make sure we go off game one. You can cut down on this after game... Like, after game two, you could board out the combo if you wanted to. Somewhat you like board down, you could board out like <laughs> you just board it out. <laughs> Whee! The one of rights is because we're an intuition deck. They're gonna put it into our hands though. Do we want a one of black source? Like a one of vault? That might come up. That might be better than the chrome moxin, I'm not sure. We're also running very few lands. I mean, our, our black sources are the Lotus Petals, and the, no, we don't need it. We got Lotus Petal. We're fine. We don't need it. We'll be able to cast this, even if it has to be hard cast. Vintage Bomberman, I don't have, though, Happy Trees. I don't have all the tutors, and I don't have the La Black Lotus for it. Does this make sense to you, Gamer God, though? I, I don't know if I explained it very well. I hope I did. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's an infinite combo, because you are... Create, you're generating one mana each time you do this. And you just keep going until you have enough mana to activate Lodestone Bobble enough times. It's going to take a long time. Uh, yeah, just because of Mox Opal. Just Mox Opal, that's the only reason. kind of cool. I mean, it would take a long time to go off, though. So I wouldn't recommend building this on Moto. I would recommend building this in paper. I may not actually buy the cards for this just because I'm thinking about it. I don't think I could ever, like, actually fully resolve this combo or the Greg Hatch combo in time, could I? Wouldn't Pithy Neal be a good sideboard choice? I think we're always going to want the Chalice. Chalice is so good in Legacy right now that I don't really want any ones other than Fluster. Do you guys understand how Fluster Storm works with Chalice? That's another question that comes up on the stream a lot. Stony Silence and Null Rod don't get run except for maybe a one of of Null Rod. Innkeeper. Use Revoker, says Happy Trees. We could maybe have a Revoker. Lodestone might be more mana than I want. I mean, we could cut down Lodestones. I mean, Ethersworn kind of can pinch people like the Lodestone does. Revoker inside. We have to hit a certain blue count, though, guys, before the deck stops working. The forces stop working. 
So 18 blue in the main, I can't cut a single blue card. And then in the sideboard, you've got one, four more blue cards you can add to the pool. We can't cut a single card. I, I think the scroll rack can't happen. I love that card, but the deck is too tight. I mean, unless you're cutting a chrome box, which you probably shouldn't. You would rather run Ritual? There's no white or blue Ritual, Innkeeper. Every LED activation gains one mana, every bottle costs three, it means 200 activations of Salvagers to win, says Hipster. No one would ever build this on Moto. Yeah, but it was still cool to build. I mean, this would be, this, this is a paper deck. Right. This is definitely a paper deck. Um, I'd love to play something like this in paper. Uh, I don't have the Moxon in paper, though. No, this can just be a pet deck or a brew idea. I, I think that I agree with Hipster on this. I, I think that we can mess around. If we did actually get the cards for this, we could mess around with it in the practice room or something. But uh, I would never actually take it to a tournament. I would never take it to an event. And I was saying, please, no one build this. Yeah, no one build it on Moto, but feel free to build it in paper. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is, this is, I mean, we can even put a note, you know, like, paper only, you know, probably. Uh, just because I think, I think I agree, I think that it would, 80 activations actually, says nerd type Joe, nerdy Joe. Two to get back, one to activate. Well, you would just get in the rhythm, you would just do the lion's eye activations first, and then you would start doing the lodestone bobble activations. Moto, that'd be awesome. Yeah, two to get it back, one to activate. But in paper, you can it, you can just have a judge come to the table if you're doing a sanctioned tournament, and you can say to the judge, you say, well, you say to your opponent, excuse me, you don't have to say anything to the judge. You say to your opponent, um, I am going to do the Oriac Salvagers plus Lion's Eye 80 times. You know, Lion's Eye Diamond 80 times, um, and then I would like to. Um, then I would like to uh, next activate Lodestone Bobble, choosing to put zero cards, you know, 40 times, right? And then they would draw out, draw their deck. I think it's a cool deck concept. I'm, I'm really excited by it, but, you know, I don't think... I, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> And I actually promised that I'd get up tomorrow at a reasonable time. Um, my family's throwing a go-away party. And uh, I'm heading back to college. Last semester. Or uh, last year, excuse me. Last year of college. So I'm excited. It's going to be fun. A bunch of family's going to be there, friends. Um, so I promised I'd get up for that. But hopefully you guys like this brew. If you want to mess around with this in paper, I can link it. And you guys can mess around with it. I think it'd be very cool. I, we're not sure about two mocks, chrome mocks. That might not be right. So maybe hold off on the two chrome mocks because I'm not sure. Um, give you guys a screenshot. If any other decks you wanted to look at, did you want to look at the deck we played tonight in the daily that crushed miracles and then got crushed by miracles? Now nah, we drew every land of the deck. That's what happened. Lotus Bloom have a place in this deck. I think Lotus Bloom's too slow. It pretty much has to be Lion's Eye. Like, it has to be Lion... Like, your combo is this three pieces. It must be this plus this plus this. It must be. What do we do with the infinite mana? You make your opponent draw their deck because this says target player. It says his or her from a player's graveyard, but you just say zero. You just say zero on this, and you use it for your opponent. You can transmute for Lotus Bloom. Uh, yes, you can, Ganon Link, but it won't work like you're hoping, I don't think. <sighs> Lotus Bloom, maybe it works. It returns to my hand. This doesn't work, guys. It returns to hand. Yeah, because Oriac Salver says return to hand, it has to be zero like Lion's Eye when you're doing the loop. 
Does everybody understand the combo though? Before I, I shut down for the night, I want everybody to understand it because I don't want anybody to left be left in the dark and be like, "How does this deck work, Spawn? Why would I want to play this in paper instead of Moto?" Okay, so Salvagers, white colorless, return target artifact with CMC one or less from your graveyard to your hand. Lion's Eye Diamond, sacrifice, discard your hand. Add three mana of any one color. In this case, white. Bobble. This is the confusing piece, I'm sure, because you've probably seen Pyretic Spellbomb for this before, right? Right? I'm sure if you've seen this deck in Vintage, they go usually with, like, a Pyretic... Yeah, they go with Spellbomb. And the reason is, is it's fewer activations. If you're going to build this in, on Moto, you'd have to build a non-Chalice of the Void version that ran um, Pyrite Spellbomb. Two damage to our player creatures, so you're doing red. What's nice about this on Moto, though, I will admit, is the auto-tap function for Lion's Eye Diamond is white, by the way. Uh, I could show you if we play one of our decks, but the auto-tap function for things like Lion's Eye and uh, Mox, Opal, and Petal and everything is white. Um, it's, it's the first color that if you just you hold down your fast-tap mana, if you go to options, um, it's... Um, You go to input settings, it's uh, fast tap, auto tap mana. For me, it's the E button. So when I hold down E, you know, I don't have to actually click, I don't really actually have to sit there and select the mana color for something like, you don't get it, SketchUp? So you don't actually, okay, I'll, I'll explain it one more time then. It's, it is a confusing combo. Absolutely it is. Did I accidentally cut the lodestone? I like that this deck is like probably the only deck that will run both lodestone cards. <laughs> Did I move it? There it is. Okay, so it's an infinite combo because uh, in the game of Magic, when your opponent draws... Oh, notice the kappa. Okay. I thought that was like I'm raising my hand because you put a little hyphen after it. Alright, so everybody gets it. Cool. Awesome. You guys want to see what we played tonight? We played something really spicy. It crushed miracles round one, then got crushed by miracles, and then uh, we got we lost to Belcher too. Unfortunately, I still had fun. We still got. It's not like we got nothing. We still got player points. You still get player points as long as you win a match, which is nice. It's not like we didn't get anything. And I actually spent. I think I spent player points to play. So it's not like I lost event tickets on this. This is so fun. I really enjoyed this. This is another Lion's Eye Diamond deck. Let me show you how this one works. It's got a wishboard. Here's the wishboard. Meltdown. Two abrupt decay. Um, I'm thinking we want uh, a Maelstrom Pulse or a Vindicate now, though. Uh, just because of that one game where I could have killed the Jason one. If I had something like Maelstrom Pulse or even Vindicate. Um, looks like you used to like to discard Alec plus Eldrazi. Otherwise, it works. Uh, AJ. The Eldrazi decks don't run discard outlets unless they're tin fins. The only deck that we would lose to is tin fins because they run uh, Entomb, Emrakul, Shuffle. The only deck that the combo loses to off the top of my head that runs instant speed discard plus Eldrazi is tin fins. I cannot think of another deck that does that, AJ. Um, because even Omni doesn't put the Grizzlebrand, or the Emrakul, excuse me, we're talking about Emrakul here. Uh, I imagine AJ Firecracker. No problem. It's not like I'm brain freezing somebody. I'm making them draw their whole deck. There's a very different thing. Yeah. That's not how the Eldrazi actually work. They'd have to be on Tin Fins. Because Tin Fins could entomb a Grizzlebrand halfway through the combo or whatever. Uh, after a certain point. Uh, and if I only did the exact amount to mill them. Or only a certain amount to mill somebody. Uh, they could do that to disrupt the decking. That's the only thing I can think of, and few, if anybody, plays. If you anticipate instant Eldrazi, you make them draw a few extra. They draw it anyway. Uh, Nerdy Joe's right. In paper, you could say infinite. You're allowed to say in infinite combos. You are allowed to. You're allowed to cite. Excuse me, you're not allowed to say infinite, you're supposed to say a number. But you could say a very large number, like 200. I think 200 is reasonable. 